So double click frame 4, Control A to select all, Control C to copy, double click to go back to the composite, Control V to paste it in, press 5 to go to 50% opacity, press V for the move tool and then just drag and align the bike so that it is in the place that it needs to be in this guy and zero again. Oh, actually, if you want to fine-tune the position of the bike, use the arrow keys as well. So I'm doing that now, so it's aligned more accurately. And once you're happy, press zero to go to 100% again, and there's the fourth frame in position. So I've done frames three and two, and very quickly, let's go to one, control A to select all, control C to copy, back to the composite again, and control V to paste in the final layer. Let's call that 01. Let's press 5 to go to 50% opacity, and then V for the Move tool. And we can now try and align that layer so that it's fitting over the um, guys here. Now this is more important to get these guys in alignment as well, because we're actually going to use some of them in this particular part of the layer. Don't worry um, too much if there's a bit of overlap on the hill. We're not going to show that. But something like this is quite handy. And use the Move tool again or the arrow keys just to fine tune the position of the bike and maybe this photographer here as well. Hit zero when you've finished aligning and there's the final shot. Let's just hit tab to get the floating windows back up and make sure you label it 01. So here are our consecutive shots. We can turn them off and fly through the air frame by frame like so. The next trick of course is to blend them all together and for that we'll show you how to create layer masks. So just press Z for the zoom tool. I'm going to go to fit screen so I can see everything in the uh, interface like so. Just drag that to the right slightly. And here we have our shot. Now what we want to do is mix the shots together by hiding parts of the layers to reveal the layers below. So we're starting on layer one here and to create a layer mask for that we can go to create adjustment layer. Go down to levels, just click OK, don't um, change any of the properties of that and drag it below layer 1. To turn it into a mask that will affect layer 1, hold down the Alt key and go to the border between the two layers like so, click, and now they are clipped together or attached. So we can use the mask that's designed for the adjustment layer to actually make this layer become transparent. And to do that, we need to target the mask by clicking on it, go to the brush tool, and what we'll do then is we're going to inverse this mask because at the moment the mask isn't actually doing anything so it's making the layer 100% solid but if we hit control and I we invert it and now the black on the mask is making that layer above there 100% transparent so what we can do now is change the foreground color to white so that we can make um, this layer visible in parts target the layer mask make sure we've got a nice soft edge brush about 65 should do the trick and then we can control plus to zoom in as well so that gives us a better look at the bike let's just use the space bar to get the hand tool and then we can now start to spray in the bike using our white brush and you can see there on the mask when I let go bits of um, white appear in the mask and that is revealing our bike let me just hit tab to get rid of that mask for the moment and control plus to zoom in and we'll get a better look at what's going on here now very carefully just spray up around the hill here just to bring in the wheel like so. We don't want to bring in too much else of the um, hill, um, too much else, <laughs> too much extra because it's not perfectly aligned. Let me just show you quickly. You can see there it's not quite working so control Z to undo that bit. But that's not too bad a mix there with the top of the bike. Now when you come to the um, chap you'll find that he's moved a little bit um, so very carefully just spray around there and you're seeing there's a double um, cap appearing so what we're going to have to do is to include all of this guy here because it's very tricky to actually get this bit working properly so spray just to include him don't go too near the edge we want to keep these people here um, untouched we're just replacing this guy with the equivalent version from the layer that's showing us the bike so here we go let's just spray him in by revealing him with the tool like so. And now I'm going to be careful not to go too near the other guy. I want to leave him untouched. And also, we're going to leave that uh, hose on the floor untouched. So there we have 
the guy now and the bike from one layer mixing with the rest of this layer. So to summarize, the black on the layer mask makes most of the layer transparent, but the white is revealing this bike here from the layer above and also this guy here. If I turn off the um, layer, you can see there's the previous guy uh, and no bike on the layer below. And then these are the details from layer one that we're revealing using the mask.